Hey, welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm Slovin, and this is Kudelka on the PS1. And if you would have saw the last video, um, I just made one video specifically for Patrick's notes. It gives you a lot of um, insight onto what exactly he was doing to bring Elaine back to life. Pretty disturbing stuff as far as the storyline is concerned. But it has a lot to do with, I think they made him like a, um, like a Jack the Ripper type character. Because if you notice, it says that he was doing a lot of his stuff in London and he was abducting women and all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty interesting. I also found out that this monastery that we're in, um, it's based off of the Towers Towers of London, I think that's what it's called. Um, has a lot of like old school mystic uh, ghost stories about the Towers of London. Something, if you're into that kind of occult stuff, that's pretty interesting. And this is a boss fight. I'm hoping it's an easy boss fight. So, let's do this. It's gotta be over here. It's always in the middle of the room. Or not. It's not in the middle of the room. Let's just examine some stuff. Oh, here it is. Wow. Well, that's that's pretty disturbing. So since it looks all like I don't know undeady, undeady. That's not even a word. I'm gonna use flare, cause flare fire burns stuff. And we're gonna take Edward over here. We're still trying to level up uh, Edward's swords, two-handed swords. So that's why I keep using it. And that didn't work. Holy crap! Might have to switch him to uh, bare hand and see if that works. And we're gonna use flare with you too. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. 536. Holy crap. A lot of back-to-back -back boss fights, although they haven't been too hard because I'm high level. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if my guys keep taking damage like this on the bosses, I might have to go and grind out maybe, I don't know, three or four levels. Just to keep everything moving smoothly. Damn, I'm going to have to heal you soon, I think. Oh yeah, you can only take like maybe one more hit. Alright, so since we gotta switch out weapons, they're handed. And there's your turn. Kinda sucks. Damn! Come on, James! No! Don't hit him again, please. Oh, we're gonna use a. We're gonna use an item. High potion. That'll, that'll hold you off for a while, I think. And we're gonna wait. And more magic. I wonder if uh, Megalith would do anything, because I mean, it's kind of just chilling on the ground. I'll have to try that once I get um, Edward healed. Because I think this guy's gonna keep trying to slap him. Well, I mean, oh, that doesn't work. Huh. Well, keep waiting. Yeah, you just keep attacking Edward. He's supposed to be the tank anyway. I'll take those hits. Although, if he keeps pushing Edward back like that, we're going to be in a shitload of trouble because then he can hit all of our members. So, let's move you over here and let's get to healing. That way he can't get knocked back. Kind of like a support. And let's try Megalith. If it doesn't do 2,000 damage, then I am switching back to Flare. I wonder if a, a hammer would work. I'm only really proficient with the uh, the swords and the uh, and some of the gloves, I guess. Uh, let's try the hammer. It doesn't hurt. Let's 
Nope, we're going back to Flare. Ah. Just making this battle longer than it has to be, right? Haha, <laughs> look at those heels. Good job. I knew we kept you around for something. Alright, see how this works. Get him! Hey, that did some damage. Nice. And we're gonna move you up. Although you might get knocked back again. I don't know what type of magic that is, but it's pretty colorful. So, more flare. Right on top of your head. Yep, you got knocked back. It's not a big deal, though. Since this uh, enemy can only use single target attacks, it's actually pretty good. Is he dead? Oh, that was hella easy. Only, only Edward was taking the big hits to the jaw. Good deal. And of course, everybody gets their lovable levels. So what do we want to give you? Let's give you some luck. Let's go ahead and make that 20. Make that 50. And we're gonna knock you up. No, more vitality. There you go. Oh crap, you got two levels, nice. Guess I can't complain about that. And let's give you some vitality because you've been falling behind. Oh, should have known that was coming. No, agility. Cool. These guys are... Hey, we learned a new spell finally. Holy shit. We haven't had new spells since forever. And we got an automatic pistol. I'm thinking I should give that to Kudelka. As long as I don't lose like any crazy amount of stats. Oh, you, I lose three vitality. And you lose some pie. But the strength goes up. And look, it has uh, ten bullets instead of six. So that makes me a happy panda bear. And actually, it only knocked her down to 1600. So that's fine since James is at the same level. So that's a save point now. This is good. Still can't do anything right there, so let's go this way. Actually... Is there anything over here? No. I think there's another door in here though, so... So this is Elaine? Yes. She's the one I had the psychic vision of. Do you doubt it? No, indeed. Good. Let's begin. that we meet again and I can only present myself to you in this form. This is the woman that responded to my voice, is it not? Thank you for doing this for someone like myself. Lane, I haven't yet come to terms. Please tell me how this happened to you. Of course I will explain. James. Eighteen years ago, I was murdered by some thieves that broke into my home. I was helpless. Both Patrick and Ogden were out on business. There was nothing that anyone could do. I will not accept this. This should not have happened. Yes. Patrick responded the same exact way. He could not accept my death. 
He spent years and years perfecting his craft and wizardry and tried everything in his power to bring me back to life. Resurrecting the dead? Is this for real? Hey, we're not talking about Frankenstein here. Frankenstein? That novel written about a hundred years ago? He was taking it very seriously. And he had found the key to actually make it happen. The immigrant document. With Ogden's assistance and the powers from ancient druids, he held a resurrection ceremony in this monastery. Oh. But something went wrong, didn't it? He only resurrected my physical body. As you can see, my soul is still doomed to roaming the universe, forever separated from my body. And the terrifying thing is that my body was resurrected as a heartless monster. Monster. Although the monster may look like me, it is not me. Mr. O into ashes with your power. Ashes? If I do that, we won't be able to bring you back to life. Mr. O'Flaherty, I was robbed of my life by those thieves, and I could hate them as mortal enemies. Choose to think that my death was preordained by the Lord. Please, do not mourn my death. It was wrong for Patrick to try to resurrect me. To undo the work of God? Please do not be sad. Death is at the heart of God's reason. I urge you to destroy my body. Its existence defies the wise providence of heaven. It mustn't exist in this world. Wait, Elaine! God, curse! What a cruel world! I gave everything for your happiness, and now what am I left with? I have no meaning in my life. Dad! What have I been doing with my life? Elaine! Wow. <laughs> yeah, even James has a heart. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here, guys. Um, stay tuned for my next gameplay of Kudelka. Until then, take care.